Hey guys, this is Houston Brown with Houston Brown Photography and just released, or in the last few days anyways, DJI has just released the new Ground Station Pro app or GS Pro app. I just downloaded it and took kind of a first look at it, so I thought I'd go over it real quick. It's actually pretty straightforward and easy. I've already set up um, a couple of tests here that I have yet to do. It's nighttime here, so I can't go fly it. But I'm kind of excited about it because I've been waiting for something like this. And I know there's some third-party apps that are already out there, but they either cost money and I haven't flown in a while, so I haven't downloaded them. So anyways, with uh, winter on the approach, I thought this would be a good time for some testing. But I thought I'd go through this real quick with you and just kind of give you a first look at the interface here. So as you can see, nothing is connected um, but if I want to look in the lower right hand corner here, I have new missions, so I can just tap on that. And there's three different types of missions you can program the virtual fence, the 3D map area, and of course the waypoint route. So let's go ahead, as you can see over here, the waypoint. So I'm just going to take a shortcut and use the ones I've already done. So let's go down here to waypoint test. I'm going to click the edit button down here so we can bring that up. And you can see this is a park near me, and I just put these waypoints up here. And, and again, like I said, it's really straightforward. You pretty much can tell the altitude that you want the craft to be at each point. Or you can select all points here and just pick a speed for everything and an altitude. The aircraft heading, uh, whether you want it to be the alignment of the course or a defined per point, which I've just picked course align. I'll let you play with, with the other one. And like I said, I haven't tried this out yet, but another video I just looked at, it seems like the bird pauses at each waypoint, which is a huge bummer if you're a videographer because that is not, that is not what you want. But I'm going to test this out tomorrow. Maybe it's something he missed. I don't know. But if you look down here at the bottom next to the trash can, you can actually swap the, the starting and end point, which I thought was pretty cool. And also on here, you can see where I can press at the end mission. I can either have it return to home, hover, or land, which I thought was kind of cool. So let's go back. And up here at the top, you can see the mission type, how long the flight's going to take, how many waypoints, the length, etc. And then you can customize it here. The little arrows that you see down here in the right-hand corner are so I can tap on a waypoint and then I can fine tune it. I'd have to really zoom in here. I can fine tune the waypoint by tapping on this. When I say fine tune, I mean like really fine tune. I'm tap, tap, tapping this and you can see it's barely moving. So you can really fine tune the coordinates. Also, another thing I understand is that this is using Google Maps and some of these maps are old and uh, rumor has it that they might be using some other map, but I don't know. So the reason why I'm telling you that is if you're gonna try it, just make sure it works for you up here. And of course, safety first. If I was to go out to this park, the first thing I would do is go fly to the highest tree, make a mental note of that, and then make sure that my height here in my altitude box was at least, well, probably 10 or 20 feet higher than the highest tree in this park. But hopefully you already knew that. So let's go. I'm going to get out of here by hitting this arrow in the upper left hand corner. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is once you do this, you'll see this little disc icon up here in the upper left. That's to save your mission. And then this arrow up in the upper left takes you back. And then if we go over here to the 3D and I hit edit again to create a, a 3D, let's go ahead and create a new mission and I'll do 3D mapping and we'll tap Aircraft, I assume, means that you can fly the aircraft around and map it that way. But I think the whole point of ground station is to do it before you leave. So I'm going to just tap on the screen, and by doing that, it just puts a square on here. And then I can just drag these squares out to, what, to the area I want it to map. Now, the little plus signs that you see in between are obviously just a way for you to add a point and drag it to wherever you want. And then it will add another plus sign in between those areas and you can drag this you know however you want to something like that I know you wouldn't do that there but just FYI so I'm not gonna go through all three of these because this is how they're all done um, it looks like a really really simple application uh, to use 
And that's pretty much it. The only thing I haven't covered here is that you can, of course, hit this little pencil icon up here and rename your mission, of course. Call it Test 2. And then hit Save. It's been saved, and now if I go back, you'll see Test 2 up there. So tomorrow I'm going to go out and give this a try. I'll try to post a video tomorrow evening because I won't be able to do it till later in the day. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.